Hello. In this demo, I'm going to show how to make a rifled barrel. Now, this is purely a demonstration of the technique in Design Spark Mechanical of how to model this. Uh, I'm not going to uh, show exact engineering dimensions so that you can make one of these because it could be very dangerous. I wouldn't advise anybody trying to make one and make their own rifle. It's mainly uh, a demonstration of how to put a spiral up the centre of a barrel in Design Spark Mechanical. So with that warning made, here we go. Well of course the first thing we're going to need Control N, a new, a new design. First thing we're going to need is a barrel up which to put our rifling. So we'll have a say a 10 millimeter bore and a 20 millimeter outer diameter. Pull pull tool we're gonna to make this four hundred millimeters long. There's our barrel for our rifling. We don't need the surface, so we'll delete that surface. And we're going to put our rifling on one end, of course. Now we are going to need a cutting tool to cut our rifling in. So we'll start by putting a reference circle, well select the face we want to use there, put a reference circle in there and then we'll use rectangle and put a rectangle here, rough rectangle then we need to make it a bit shallower down here so I'll we'll select the move tool there. Now we can trim this away a bit. Trim tool. Right now we've got our cutting tool in here. So we need eight of these. Now we're going to select this And then choose the move tool and we need to move to the center. Now it's gone to the center because there's a curved part here which has its center at that point. Create patterns and twirl this round until there we are. Now oh, we've got here just what we want. Click. So these are our eight cutting tools to put the rifling in. We need a pull tool and we're going to rotate this just a little bit so we can see the centre because we're going to need the centre line. Pull tool start selecting these. Now we don't want to select lines. We want to be careful there. We want to select the face, the area, hold the control key and select them individually. Revolve them rather, or revolve an axis. There it is, gone green. Right, we're cutting, so we want the minus sign, and we're going to revolve a helix down here. Now, the pitch of a rifling is somewhere between one turn in seven inches to one turn in ten inches. So, if we make it one turn in eight inches. That's 200 millimeters. That will be our pitch 200. Select the height. The height.
height of course is the length of the barrel. You might have noticed when we selected them the arrow was pointing outwards. So we want to go into the middle so we have to make that minus 400. We turn and we'll wait a while while it does some number crunching. finished. We've got some surfaces here which we will take off so we can see what's happening. Delete that, there we are. There's our rifling. If we pick one out, that one down there, we see that there are two helixes from one end to the other. So there's the rifling down the barrel. If we select that and press the X key we'll get a section through it. And there is all the rifling down the barrel. D for design mode. Now if we use the display perspective mode we should be able to see something quite nice. There we are, we can see down the barrel. Now notice if we move this across, it stays pointing to the horizon in the distance, which is different from orthogonal mode. Notice the difference there, doing that, whereas if we use the orthographic mode and do the same thing. It's operating on a different principle perspective. And just to make it look nice, first of all we'll call it a proper name, rename it Rifle Barrel. Select the solid, go to the display colour, let's make it uh, a dull steel grey metallic and we'll give it a, a high gloss finish. And additionally, let us Give it a nice round edge to the barrel. Whoop. There we go. One rifled barrel. As I said at the beginning, please do not make one of these and try it out. It is extremely dangerous. Uh, the line will explode and blow your fingers off. Please subscribe and I will be posting more videos very soon. Bye.